Hello and welcome to this video about the classic board game of Snake and Ladder. This timeless classic has been enjoyed by generation of children and adults alike providing hour of fun-filled entertainment. In this video, we will delve into the history of this beloved game, its rules and gameplay mechanics and some of its educational benefits. So sit back and get ready to roll the dice in this dynamic game of luck and strategy. The origin of Snake and Ladder can be traced back to ancient India, where it was known as Moksha Patam. The game was commonly used as a teaching tool to impart moral values to children by using the ladder to represent virtue and a snake to represent a vice. The game progressed to its modern form when it was introduced in England as Snake and Ladder during the late 19th century by Indian colonial rulers. While the original gameplay was maintained, its underlying rules philosophical message was greatly demonized. The religious pursuit and vice were replaced by two part of cartoon drama connected by snake or a letter. Additionally, the number of snake and letter were equalized while in the original one there were usually more snake than letter. In this game, the goal is to reach the final square of the board before your opponent do. The board game consists of 100 square is with a specific number. Players use a dice to determine the number of space they can move during their turn. The game gets exciting with the prison of snake and ladder on the board. Ladder allow player to climb up several square at once while snake result in a player sliding down the board. One of the best thing about this game is that it can be played by anyone regardless of age or skill level. Now let us take a closer look at the element of this game. Firstly, you have the game board. This can be made out of different materials such as cardboard or plastic and has a graphic representation of all the square. Next you have the dice. The dice is used to determine the number of space a player can move in each turn. Moreover, you have pounds or game pieces. These are used to represent each player on the board. The game can become quite competitive as players try their best to beat their opponent to the in square. It is important to note that there is no standard game board for ladder and snake. Players can use different design layouts or trims to make the game more personalized and engaging. As being a great source of entertainment, Snake and Ladder also offer plenty of opportunity for learning. As mentioned earlier, the game was originally used as a tool to teach moral value to children. Additionally, Snake and Ladder can also be used as an educational tool in school to teach basic math skills such as counting, addiction, or subtraction. Furthermore, the game can help to develop problem-solving and decision-making skills in player. It is amazing to think that a game as simple as Snake and Ladder has such a rich history and offers so many benefits. Not only it is a great game for fostering learning among children, but it also provides an opportunity to unwind and have fun with the loved one. So if you haven't played the game before, I highly recommend giving it a try.